everyone, Arcblade here, and in this video I wanted to talk about New World, and more specifically, the developer response to the in-game store, where people heard that you could buy boosts and cosmetics and stuff like that, and they started freaking out because, like a lot of MMOs or mobile games or, um, I guess, online games in general, whenever there's an in-game cash shop, there's a big worry over whether or not it's pay to win, pay to progress, and things like that. And so, with everybody freaking out, I thought it was really important to get a video out there since the developers responded just like 45 minutes ago. And uh, let's check out what they had to say. So on their Twitter post, they came out with this. So let's read through it. Some questions have come up recently from our alpha patch notes discussing an in-game storefront. Our plan in having a storefront is to create an outlet for players who find enough value in store items that they are happy to purchase them. Our plan is not, and never will be, to create a feeling that the store items are necessary to enjoy the game. All players will be able to play the full game experience we ship without having to make store purchases. All store items at launch will be exclusively cosmetic in nature. We are introducing the storefront in Alpha in order to test these items and their value. No selections in the store or their indicated cost during testing, there is no real cost in any case, is final. Our purpose is quality assurance and gathering player feedback, so please share your thoughts once the system is introduced. The testing audience will see each type of item we are considering and have an opportunity to provide feedback before they are introduced to the live game. Looking towards the future, we will also test ideas on how to offer players quality of life items for mechanics like rested XP and fast travel, both obtainable in-game and purchasable in the store. The timing of release for these types of items will depend on how players progress in the months after launch. The more players who are able to experience all of our exciting end-game content and game modes, the healthier the overall game experience will be for all players. Our goal with all items of any type is that they not offer an advantage that imbalances the game. We understand that this line is based on players' interpretation, so we ask for your patience while we test in alpha and listen to your feedback. For transparency on future plans, we are also contemplating but have not yet finalized a Battle Pass style program that would combine store items on a periodic basis. This will also be tested ahead of time to ensure it provides strong value without disrupting gameplay for those not participating. Much further along, there is also the possibility of optional expansions which would have a separate cost. So reading this, this actually puts my mind at ease quite a bit, and hopefully it does the same for a lot of other people out there. I'm okay with games having an in-game store for buying cosmetics and stuff like that. I mean, sometimes it gets a little frustrating when, like, in-game you don't have, like, a lot of cool-looking gear or something like that, and only the cool-looking stuff is in the store. But, like with Path of Exile, for example, I'm okay with the type of store that they have. Some of the things, like the stash tabs or whatever, can be, you know, a little wishy-washy on whether or not it's A to progress or whatever, but I still think what they have is reasonable. When it starts getting into convenience items, it gets pretty annoying in that case. Um, that's where I almost wish games like World of Warcraft would just have a subscription model that has everything in that and you just pay monthly for that. But even with that, it gets a little out of hand because like with World of Warcraft, they also have mounts and all these other things um on top of having a subscription which gets just a bit ridiculous but anyway if they put in cosmetics and mounts and things like that i can live with it and as long as they avoid progression things like aid character boosts and stuff like that um i think would be fine because there is a lot of bad feedback coming from people there was like kira tv posting stuff and i agreed with 99% of all the complaints that people had with this. So I totally understand it. I totally get it. And this makes me feel so much better that they're going to test things out. They can get feedback. And if the overwhelming majority dislikes a direction that they're going, hopefully they'll change it. And hopefully we don't have to worry about those kinds of things ruining a game that could potentially be really, really good. Because I feel like you could have a fantastic game and an in-game cash up by itself can ruin a lot of things. Uh, even having like the auction house from Diablo 3 is a good example to me of something that immediately ruined the game. Absolutely, right away, just destroyed that game. And then when they got rid of it, the game got a lot better. Granted, you know, a lot of updates and stuff like that helped as well. We all need a new MMO. And I know a lot of people will deal with a lot of negativity from a game just because they're so desperate to play a new MMO. 
but hopefully we get one that actually lives up at least to most of the hype. And with that, I hope everybody has a good day. And as always, thanks for watching.